Are you angry at Studio Wildcard for making its Scorched Earth DLC cost just as much as the original game? Well, don't worry, because this map has an amazing desert, and you can also tame wyverns here. The Volcano is a map that has been around without me knowing of its existence for quite some time. I subscribed as soon as I found out about it, and this map is amazing. If you're in need of new base locations or a whole new experience in the world of Ark, the Volcano is the way to go. This map is both beautiful and strategic thanks to the great base locations that I'll be showing you today. For your convenience, I'll be listing all the coordinates in the descriptions along with screenshots if you don't have time to watch the video. Either way, if you found this useful, be sure to leave a like. Now without any further ado, let's get right into number 5. When you first start, you won't be able to fly around or navigate to other places in the list. So for your first base, the Red Obelisk is a great location because it's flat, safe, and somewhat sheltered. This location isn't just awesome for a starter base, you could also make a much bigger base and maybe even fully enclose the area. The coordinates for the Red Obelisk are 82.117. For number 4 we have this awesome land bridge located at around the center of the map, or more specifically, 60.9, 46.2. This place is amazing for building a base if you're part of a large tribe because there's a ton of room and you could also build a base under the bridge using pillars. It's a great area for harvesting resources and it's also really easy to build on because of how flat it is. At number 3 I've chosen yet another land bridge, this time on the edge of a beautiful redwood forest and in front of a very appealing river flowing into the lake it's over. At 38.542.6 you can find this fascinating place. Under the bridge lies an amazing area for your base. You could also build one on top, but I mainly chose this area for the huge amount of room you have underneath. Before we continue to number 2, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you guys for the awesome support on the last video. It definitely goes appreciated. If this is the first video of mine that you've seen, be sure to subscribe so you can get more awesome tips on how to strengthen your arc game. Alright, now let's continue to number 2. At 11.8, 15.9, you'll find a mysterious hole in the mountain. And if you fly down there and take a left turn, you'll notice a huge swamp cave. This, however, is only going to work for a very powerful tribe considering, well, it is a cave. And let's just say it's not really going to be easy to build in here with all the creatures. But if you've got a lot of manpower, then this would be a great place to build. Since from my knowledge, there's only one entrance. But even if I'm wrong, you could easily block off any other ones. For number one, we have by far the coolest location on the volcano map. It's located at 68.4, 30.4. This really interesting cave going into a mountainside is surrounded by a beautiful cliffside valley. You could build something at the back or use pillars to build over the water. I honestly just think this place looks really cool. I hope you guys found this video useful and I also hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and if you didn't like it, then dislike the video and tell me in the comments what I did wrong. Until next time.